In this video, you will learn some quick and easy ways that content creators can use to check your website's content for some of the most common accessibility issues. And the first thing we're going to do is download an extension for your browser. This allows you to evaluate web content directly within your browser. This is the Chrome extension. I'm using Chrome and it's going to take me to the Google Store. And then I just click Add to Chrome. Add the extension. And once I've installed it, I can pin it here so that it's always available here on my toolbar whenever I want to use it. I set up this website of a fictional company, Gulf Coast Nature Tours. And so this is just a basic page from their website that has a banner, um, some text, a video, there's some images down here. So we're just gonna use this as an example as I go through different techniques you can use to check accessibility guidelines. First, we wanna check the title. And if you hover here, you can see the full title, Gulf Coast Nature Tours dash tours. Typically, you want your title to front load the important information. I would probably change it to birding and wildlife tours dash Gulf Coast Nature Tours. The next thing I like to do is try to resize the text. I'm gonna use the Chrome tools to zoom in. And as we're zooming in, I just wanna make sure that I can still read the text. Sometimes text will overlap if you make it larger, and we just wanna make sure that that's not happening. Since there's a video on this page, we wanna make sure that that video has a caption. So if we start to play the video, there's a closed caption button. That video has captions and it does seem like they're formatted. They're not being automatically generated. So we're all good to go on the captions. For these next checks, we're going to use the wave tool that we downloaded earlier. And what the wave tool does is it allows us to see how the content is marked up in the HTML. All we have to do is click this button on your toolbar and we have a little report over here on the side. Also, you'll notice it adds little icons everywhere on the page, and those can show you some of the hidden things that are on your page. One thing that we definitely wanna check is our headings. So you wanna make sure that your headings provide a very nice outline of the content on the page. The H1 or heading one is very important to have on every page that you create. Here we can see this is the properly marked up with an H1 right here. Now, as we scroll down, here's an H2, and we wanna make sure that any text that looks like a heading is actually a heading. This land-based birding tours, that obviously should be a heading, but I don't see a heading tag next to it. So we wanna go back in and make sure that is properly marked up as an H3, heading level three. Another thing we can check with the wave tool is to make sure that every image has an alternative text equivalent. So if we go down to the images here, we can see what the alternative text is and it says waiting spoonbills. So that seems really good, a really good description for this image. But here it's showing us an X and if we click on it, it says missing alternative text. So that's something we definitely need to go back and fix and to add some uh, descriptive alternative text to this image. So those are just a few of the things that you can do to get started checking the accessibility of your web content. For more information, visit the Web Accessibility Initiative's Easy Checks page.